All right, so we made it pretty far. And again, I'm gonna congratulate you for making it this far and really just taking this whole thing seriously. Um, yeah, it's cool that you have learned so much about React in just one simple playlist. I kind of wish I had something like this for me back in the day when I was making this, but I had to read books. All right, so now we've got the app working just fine. Um, we'll just double check it here. You can see that our Star Wars comes down here, pretty cool. We need to do something with the term. And so I mentioned in the previous video, fetch. And so let's explore that just really quick. What is fetch? So I'll just use MDN. And basically over here, if I go over to the API, I can, I'm actually gonna apply the JavaScript to example because I don't want the whole API. So here, using fetch. And you can see that basically you just provide it a URL. And then after you get the response, you can do something with the response. Usually you change the response to JSON, and then you look at the data, you console log the data. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to use the fetch uh, request, the fetch API from JavaScript. And this is built in with ES6. And so once we do that, we can point that at the open movie database API. And there we go. All right, so this is where we're going to make fetch requests. And the basic way you do it is just like you would make a normal Ajax request. You basically look for the URL and then you provide an API key and then you add some parameters here. So we're looking for, um, for example, title. So if I wanna look for Mission Impossible here, I could do that and just hit search. And so this would be the API request, I mean, the. so this would be the type of request I would make. I would make a URL with a T for term and then the term that I wanna pass it. So we already got the term from the input. We just wanna dynamically put that into this URL and that's gonna give us back JSON as a response. And if you notice, this JSON is a lot like the response that we made in our fake data. And so we can verify that over here in our movies. And so here we have a year, here we have a poster, here we have a title. If you look over here, we also have year, title, and I believe we can get poster if we want. Um, yeah, here's poster down here. So you can get a lot more information than just basically what I gave you in the fake movie data. So you can make this even easier and cooler and more full-fledged as an app if you want. Um, you don't have to do what I did. You can make this a really solid app if you want to have something to show for your portfolio. So again, um, the one thing that you're gonna need to do besides going to OMDB API is you're gonna need to get an API key. But that's really simple. All you have to do is just provide your own email and then you'll be good to go. Then once you're done with that, you'll wanna add your movies API key somewhere here, maybe in the code directly, like at the top, you can just say const API key and then put it in as a string. I'll show you how to do that with my own API key. Um, and I'll probably for reasons just blur out part of my API key because you know I don't want a ton of people using my API key then I can't use it. But essentially you get the idea. You'll get an API key and then basically you can use that for your own project and then you can make the request just like I do. So let's get to that.